Hello YouTube and welcome back to my Ableton Masterclass tutorial series. In this video it's just a quick one to take a look at the audio effect called Grain Delay. I think that's what it's called. We'll click on Audio Effects and it's there. We left click and we drag out an instance of Grain Delay. But first we'll take a quick listen to our sample. So our MIDI clip is a melody. It's not very good but it goes like this. left click on Grindelay, drag it out and this is it down here look so if you click on spray this is a corresponding option box to set your spray in milliseconds these are all the options you've got spray frequency pitch random pitch feedback and dry wet and their properties are to the left of them so spray if you were to adjust that and play it back then if we turn it up That's what it sounds like all the way up. That's obviously drastic. It adds like a little erosion to it. And frequency. Up to 150 hertz. All the way down to 1 hertz. Right, 150. Then pitch. Turn it up in pitch. I'll turn it down and pitch to minus 36 at the other end. Then random pitch. Sounds like that. Feedback. Add a bit of grain to our track. As you can see, that's all the way up. Then dry wet is how much the effect will be applied. It's a hundred percent at the moment. And this is how much it repeats. You've got sync, you can out on time and choose it in milliseconds. If you're out on sync, you can turn it up in percent. You can also have delay time. You can also drag this around on the box. I can automate any of these by right click by right clicking and going to show automation. Well that was just a quick look today, YouTube at grain delay. Feel free to take longer with it and experiment. It's a really good effect in Ableton. It can achieve really good results by messing around with it well thanks for watching youtube if you like the video at all please give it a like or if it's been useful that give it a thumbs up uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so until next time stay safe be lucky this is virtual worlds signing out